Good evening. I now call to order the meeting of the Jacksonville Youth Council. We meet in City Hall's council chambers located at 815 Newbridge Street. This is also where our Jacksonville City Council meets. We're proud to be a part of the official voice for youth in the City of Jacksonville, and we take that pretty seriously. The Youth Council is open to any student who is eligible to attend a high school in Onto County, and we meet the first Wednesday of each month at 6 p.m. Students from Northside, Southwest, Jacksonville, White Oak, Richlands, Swansboro, Dixon, Onto Early College, and Lejeune High School are welcome to attend. We will now begin with the Pledge of Allegiance led by Gabriel Flores, and we ask that you continue to stand for our invocation led by Conrad Burdett. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I ask you that this meeting shall go by smoothly. Thank everybody that is here to thank you that you've granted everybody to be here for us. We pray that everything would go well. Nothing bad happens to anybody here and while we're here or while they're going home. Amen. Amen. Our One City, Our City, My City moment. This is an opportunity for those that are in tonight's meeting to identify areas that you recognize that someone has done a great deed. They have treated, treated someone with the service of treat others how you want to be treated. So the first thing that we'll recognize is the Jacksonville Youth Council swearing in ceremony, which took place at our last meeting, October 4th, 2023. And this is the official swearing in of our newly elected officers. The next election will take place in the spring. So if you are interested in running for an office, it would be a great time for you to remain active throughout the school year, throughout our meetings, and then look to see which position you would like to run for. Talk to those officers that are currently in position to find out what you do, what's required, and then that way you'll be prepared to run in the new year. Is there anybody else that would like to come front and highlight anything that has happened within the community since we last met that is a great initiative of One City, Our City? It could be something that happened at school, an organization has done something great in the community, Anything that you notice and you was like, man, they need to be recognized. If it doesn't jump out at you tonight, just think about it in the future. And if you have a picture, you can send me the picture before the meeting and I can load it up as well. All right. All right. I went too far. Hold on. All right. Ms. Riley. This is a council that governs itself, decides what actions it would like to engage in, and offers advice to elected officials of Jacksonville. We'll introduce ourselves as we speak. Be sure to talk with us if you have ideas, questions, or just want to talk about the youth council. To help guide us, let me introduce all officers currently elected for youth council. Anaya Ward, Chairman Omsos Early College High, High School. Shania Nolan, Vice Chairman Jacksonville High. Riley Hayes, Secretary White Oak High School. Dakota Evans, Recorder Jacksonville High School. Cameron Trafton, Executive Committee White Oak High, High School Seat White Oak High School. Brianna Hopps, Executive Committee Northside High School Seat Northside High School. Conrad Burdett, Executive Committee at Large Seat Onslow Early College, Gabriel Flores, Executive Committee at Large Seat Lejeune High School. I want to introduce some other people who help to make these youth council meetings possible. We do have help with their work, and I want to introduce a few people. Tracy Jackson is the Director of the Neighborhood Improvement Services, which oversees the Jacksonville Youth Council. 
Pamela Trapton is the staff liaison of the Jacksonville Youth Council and Senior Neighborhood Improvement Services Coordinator with the City of Jacksonville and works with the Youth Council in preparation for meetings, events, and activities. In addition, Pamela welcomes you to contact her with any comment, suggestion, or question, 910-938-6551. We thank them for our help. We also want to give a special thank, thank you to G10 Media Crew, who assists us all year long and make sure our meetings are televised. There are Alan Covey, Lisa Miller, Joshua Walton, and Kelsey, Kelsey Sticklitz. This Friday, November 3rd at 9 a.m. is our Freedom Fountain observation, Observance Ceremony. This, an, this is an annual observance presented by the Onzo Civic Affairs Com Committee, which tells the story of our city's Freedom Fountain and invites leaders, youth, and the community at large from all over Onzo County to participate. Tonight, we will help contribute by preparing the water bottles that will be used in the renewal ceremony. Youth Council has worked in the past to help charities. We have assisted the Onzo County Chew Program Onslow Community Outreach, Christmas Cheer, in the Soup Kitchen, and Nursing Homes. We would like to plan out our community service activities for November and December, and would like to hear your thoughts and suggestions on what we do. Come forward to give us some ideas. All right, so we're going to take a few minutes to hear from those in the audience. What are some community service activities that you would like for us to participate in this year? And officers, you can help guide as well, too. Um, I think last week somebody mentioned volunteering at the animal shelter. Animal shelter. Okay. Oh, come to the front to the mic. Mm -hmm. I feel like that we could... Um, participate in elementary schools like reading to them or okay. just like genuinely being teacher helpers okay. any drives that you might be interested in drives meaning we collect and donate it anywhere Food, clothes, elderly. Sounds good. Think about it. <laughs> All right. We'll think of some more. All right. Thanks. Each year on Nash National Day of Service, service which falls on the observed Monday for Martin Luther King Jr. We select a project to serve the community and also participate in the Keeping the Dream Alive Unity March. This is another opportunity to identify a community service project on this date, January 15, 2024. This year the holiday parade is Saturday, November 18th. We will meet at Coastal Carolina Community College at 8 a.m. The theme is Christmas Holiday Movie Magic. Tonight, we will decide our theme for those who are walking in the parade. Come to the podium and let us know your favorite holiday movie, and we will vote on it tonight. Harmony has met, and we are preparing to learn. Oh. All right, so this is your opportunity. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Yep, come on up. Come on up. Jesus. Now, if you're shy to come up and you want somebody else to say it, you can share. You can share. <laughs> I like Elf. Elf? Oh. Okay. I like the movie 
It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart. It's a Wonderful Life. I like every iteration of the Grinch movies. The Grinch? Okay. Polar Express. Polar Express? Oh. That's a, that's a good one. That's a good one. This one, this one came on when I was like a kid. I okay. just came up with that. I just remember it was called Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer? I just remember that one. <laughs> that's a song actually too. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas? All right. So, any more? All right. So, this is what we're getting ready to do. We are getting ready to vote on which holiday movie are we going to dress up as for the Christmas parade. All right. So, what we're going to do first is you can raise your hands high as I name out. Let me first name all that we have so you can think about which one you want to raise your hands for. All right, officers, you're included. So we have, don't raise your hand yet, Elf, It's a Wonderful Life, Grinch, any of the Grinch movies, Polar Express, Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer, and Nightmare Before Christmas. All right, so think about it. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Well, so normally in the past, we supplied our own costumes. So however you wanted to... Um, we look at what's possible. So if it's something that we all can wear, I've purchased before in the past. Um, so like, let's say if it was um, accessories, I'll see if I can get the accessories in time, but then the actual outfits we all wore, like in this picture, we all made our Nutcracker shirts. So we see what we can work with. All right. All right, so everybody thinking? All right, so raise your hand high if you want to dress up as characters from the Elf movie. Uh, yep, yeah, you called it. Raise it high. Yes, ma'am. Doesn't mean you can't vote again if you choose, but. <laughs> All right. Next one is A Wonderful Life. All right. Any rendition of the Grinch. All right, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Polar Express. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right. Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. Got one. <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a compliment. It's a compliment. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. Conrad, your hand up. No. Okay. All right. That's nine. All right. So we are doing Polar Express. All right. So what we'll do is. Who suggested Polar Express? <laughs> All right. It seems like a lot of people remember that movie, but can you tell us some of the things that we would probably want to dress up as? Uh, we do have a vehicle, so we can put the vehicle as the train. 
so we can kind of make the, um, it's a pickup truck. So that can be our train. And then what else would we need within the Polar Express? Okay. I'm pretty artsy. I could help design a train. Okay. We're going to need a All the kids were right at the pajamas in that meeting? All the kids were in pajamas? Yes. Okay. Pajamas. The guys who serve the hot cocoa. The hot cocoa? The cocoa on the road. Oh, tickets. We're going to need to What? No, tickets. I'm going to be the dude on no, the ski. All right. Can we get that little worker on top of the The conductor? On top of the ground. Okay. Yes, Brad. So, yes. crazy. Attire wise, does the conductor, who's going to be, raise your hands if you are walking in the parade? I have no choice. All right. Oh, yeah, we don't have no choice. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I'll be the conductor. Okay. It's a Saturday. No, we, need two, we need two people for the, uh, All right. The two dudes. So, we need to. Who is interested in being the conductor? You have an have idea? To, okay. We don't have to wild out now. We're a black girl. We don't have to wild All out. All the officers be the conductor? Oh. Hold on. We could be the two dudes. Or whoever knows how to I won't be that little black girl. With the God, let me in the way. Hold on. I can't hear. Hold on. Let me in the way. One at a time so we can hear. Hold on. Okay. What are you raising your hand for? Conductor. Conductor? Okay. Conductor. Conductor. Let's do a vote. Anybody else want to be a conductor? Because we are going to do a vote for who wants to be the conductor. Like in the center. Rock, paper, scissors. You want to be a conductor? Oh. Okay, so. It was like a polar bear. Bro, you know, Everyone, you know your mic is lower on. Lower your hands. Tell me your name again, sir. Uh, Benson. 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 Okay. So we're going to vote on who is the conductor. This is your meeting. All right. So first we have. Conrad, raise your hand high if you want Conrad to be the conductor. How many conductors are we having? I have one. one. Oh. There can only be one. Oh. Yeah, one conductor. <laughs> one conductor. All, all right, so raise your hand conductor. high for Conrad. All I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Cameron. eight. All right, so Conrad <laughs> has eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, raise your hand high if you want Cameron to be your conductor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Raise your hand high if you want Benson to be your conductor. Oh, yeah, let's out Let's go, let's go. All right, Benson, you are our conductor. What's wrong with this? All right, so we have Benson as the conductor. Now, we said that we had the sleeping children in the pajamas. We had the, um, the, the hot chocolate, hot, hot cocoa. Hot, yeah. And then the hobo on the roof. Oh, the yes. The people, the people who um, give out the cocoa, and they're, like, all white. So the hot cocoa people. So, I mean, that's an easy costume. So they're dressed in all white mm -hmm. hot cocoa. Yeah. And then they, yeah. Okay. I mean, and then. Now, is it a certain yeah. amount of people that has to be the right hot chocolate or the pajamas? Excuse me. Wasn't it like, like, I remember like three or five with the hot cocoa guys. Okay. Eight Miss Pam? Huh? In Octet, there was eight. There was eight of the hot cocos? Eight hot cocoa guys. Eight witties. <laughs> she looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Googling this? <laughs> <laughs> I Googled it. Yeah. Is, is this going to be like well, you definitely want to layer. So you yeah. want to put your outfit underneath some sweat clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that don't just come with just the pajamas mm -hmm. on. Short pajamas. Okay. Yeah, you can do like I've been wearing like a nightgown. Like mm -hmm. like uh, one second, yeah. One second. So what was the purpose? Oh. It's going to be a little late, and I'm going to be that girl. It's just like the narrator guy, the, the protagonist boy. Oh, the, main character. Yeah. the main boy. The main character? Yeah, yeah. the main character. Wait, somebody I want to be the main character girl. Let main me, character girl? Main character. She means the girl with the pigtails and the oh, pink yeah. neck gown. Oh, yeah. Oh, then there's that guy who's like... 
the train guy? I want to be her. Because they're black. Yes. Um, I'll dress up as the hobo oh, man yeah. that was on the top of the train. Yeah, it was the I can't hear you in the mic. I don't know. I said I would dress up as the man on the train. The one who sits on top of the train, the guy looks the like hobo. homeless oh, man. I'm the hobo. The person on the train? <laughs> okay. I'm going to be the hobo. Well, he's like the spirit of Christmas or something. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think Christmas present. I'll be, I'll be the, you know what, a, you know what kind of train this is, guy? Uh, Sounds <laughs> like Christmas Christmas. Christmas. Off of what I'm hearing, Benson is the one that has to dress up in specific attire. Come on in. Come on in. Look who's here. Benson has the specific attire as a conductor. And then everyone else gets to, um, you can come on this side here. Get out. Come on this side here. And then everyone else gets to kind of pick whichever character you like out of the movie for your dress. All right. Can I be the kid who like says, you know what kind of train this is? It's 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 the kid with glasses. I've got the glass. I got the kind of glasses he's wearing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'll take one of eight of the waiters. All right. We got a wave. Now the ones that are going to be the coffee, um, hot cocoa people. You'd have to have what? A plate with a cup on plate, it. Plate, cup. Yeah. Okay, so if you're going to be one of the hot cocoa people, make sure you have the cup cocoa set. Excuse me. Are we going to like glue them? Are we going to like glue the cups down? Yeah, probably most likely. Stay. Excuse Stay. me. Can I change my character? You can dress how you can dress whichever one you want to be. Yes, sir. I'm going to be Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, oh. That's a good point. That's a good point. I forgot we had, we In the had holiday Santa. parade, there's only one Santa Claus. Oh, there's also So we can't have there. any other Santa Clauses in the um, parade. There's only one Santa Claus. So there that is, is a good point. There is elves in the movie as well. Okay. Yeah, elf. Knows. Okay. And then there's like that one we'll, small kid with the giant What we'll do is be everything. <laughs> we'll go ahead and finish talking like after the meeting so we can kind of brainstorm it out. But it sounds like any other character is open for whichever one you like to be, except for the conductor and except for Santa Claus. Uh, I, I just realized that I like the conductor wears like a suit. You look like a no, you don't have to buy a suit. <laughs> but do you have suit attire or do you want... Okay, let's talk afterwards and we'll see if we can get hold of some suit attire for you. Yeah, if you want to do just like a jacket and put it over some jeans. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, awesome. So we have our theme. I'm excited. All right, Polar Express. <clears throat> Is there a JYC group chat? Because you were talking a lot about uh, us talking outside, and I don't know a lot of people outside, so I'm wondering if there's like a group chat. Oh, not outside. We're going to talk after the meeting. But, um, like, in here, though. Oh, in here. Okay. No. Oh, and no. I forgot to ask about, like, the shirts. Yeah. Got them. Okay. All right. All right, Shania, you're up. Harmony has met, and we are preparing to learn how to write our grant applications for our grant year. This program will allow youth organizations to apply for funds that have an opportunity to sponsor a program or event for other youth to attend. Our applications will be available after December 14, 2023. All right. All right. How are you? I was not paying attention, my apologies. Uh, <clears throat> our December meeting will... Our December meeting will host our Christmas party. This will give us an opportunity to network, have fun, enjoy each other before we leave for Christmas break. And as you can see, at our last Christmas party, we actually did a food drive for the Chew, um, Chew House. Are you familiar with the Chew program? 
So with the CHU program, um, Onslow County United Way, they feed over 900 kids every week to make sure that they have food opportunities over the weekend because sometimes they may not have food to eat over the weekend. And this is an opportunity for us to do a food drive. So that's what I also meant by drives where we can do a food drive if we want to for the CHU program. We could do um, elderly supplies for the nursing homes or we could do a back to school drive. Those are different things that we can do within the youth council to help others benefit from it, especially our youth in the community. Okay. At this time, we will open up the podium for any comments or announcements that will benefit JYC or that members might be interested in. These could be things such as a new idea for JYC to undertake, a community event or activity especially for students, or a volunteer or scholarship opportunity that would interest the group. All right. So is there anyone that has any ideas that we should take into consideration? Doesn't necessarily have to be um, community service, but it could just be a topic of concern. So um, I was thinking about the uh, like community service idea of the fundraiser with the clothes, but spe uh, specified towards kids like um, infant, toddler age. So we just like um, collect clothing for that age group. Okay. When I was an avid two years ago, um, we did this thing where we would have clothes that we would donate and then we would cut them up and make dog toys out of them and donate those um, made dog toys. So I feel like that would be a fun activity. Okay. And I also had a question about like the um, December one. I think we should do Secret Santa. Secret Santa? Okay. And you said the clothes was for dog or doll? Dog toys. Dog toys? So basically we would get, we would use, bring old clothes, so like a teacher from like four years ago that doesn't fit anymore. We would cut it up and make these little dog toys that my teacher found online. It was so cute. It was a different activity. Hmm. Okay. All right. Anything else? All right. All right, nine. Listed in your agenda are the next meetings. We also have these special sheets that are available on your way out to remember the dates and for you to pass out to your friends who are not here. If you have any ideas, talk with us. We will always meet in City Hall or at the Youth Center. Any changes will be announced ahead of time. At this time, we will all come forward to prep the water bottles for the Freedom Fountain Center ceremony. All right, before we come forward, um, one thing I wanted to see, if you are from North Side, please stand. All right, thank you. Southwest. All right, Jacksonville. All right, White Oak. All right, Richlands. All right, Swansboro. Dixon. Onslow Early College. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lejeune High. All right, awesome. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. It looks like we are a year of early college. 
All right, early college. So, other schools. Let's see who will beat out at the Christmas party in December. Let's see who can invite the most at the December meeting. Can you give me like a stack? I'm going to pass out there. Yep, we got um, some flyers right outside. All right, so now this is what we're getting ready to do. So the Freedom Fountain is an observant ceremony. So the Freedom Fountain is right out here that has the three jets and then the 50 small jets around it. That is the ceremony that's taking place this Friday. And what we have are water bottles that are filled with water. And the ceremony itself is a renewal ceremony. So we have different municipalities that all come together at this ceremony. And they talk about how the municipalities come together, how the three jets stand for the three levels of government, and then your 50 small jets are attached to the states. So it's a ceremony that talks about the history, how it came to be. The original fountain was a smaller fountain at the older courthouse. I know before my time, I'm sure, it's definitely before your time, <laughs> but it's a great opportunity to hear. So this year is taking place at 9 a.m. Um, so a lot of you are may or may not be able to be in attendance because you're in school at that time. If we had anyone I missed, do we have any homeschools in here? Okay. If you, um, as this is being recorded, if you're homeschooled, this is an opportunity to participate in the ceremony. But what we're going to do is we are going to label all the water bottles. And if you get a water bottle that has a label, but there's a year on it, we're going to cover that water, that label with a non-year one. So this is the project that we are going to participate in tonight. And this is how we're going to help contribute to the Freedom Fountain, even though we may not be able to be in attendance on Friday. All right. So at this time, we'll all come up and grab some water bottles and grab some labels.